the browser company has been racing to revolutionize the way that we access the internet. They built this game-changing browser called Arc and upgraded it just a few days ago with a bunch of AI tools that make it, in my opinion, the ultimate browser ever. Browsers are really important. They're the way that we access and look at the internet. They've mostly been the same for as long as I can remember and that worked. But many companies have recently started trying to change that. The best known out there is probably Arc. I've been using it as my main browser for almost three months now and I absolutely love it. Let me tell you right now, best browser I've ever used and I'm probably never switching. Let me tell you why. Arc wants to give you less internet as their CEO says. The idea here is that we love the internet but it can be overwhelming. So they're trying to build a browser that keeps us focused, organized and in control. They're already doing many things extremely well. For example, there's no top bar anymore. Your tabs, they're nicely organized on the left. A search bar can pop up to let you search for literally anything. There's picture-in-picture -picture video that pops up automatically. Also smart screenshots that detect the elements on the page. And easels, these are private whiteboards where you can save anything you want. You can also use live capture, which are these really cool sort of like live screenshot things that you can use to build a crazy live dashboard inside your easel. You've also got notepads, multitasking split screens, separate spaces to work on different things. There's these things called boosts, which let you customize the way the whole internet looks and many, many more small features sprinkled a bit everywhere that just make it really, really nice to use. The most life-changing things in Arc for me are the different spaces, the left sidebar, and this kind of like spotlight feature. So this tiny search bar that just pops up automatically. This thing is crazy. It just does everything. Just press Command plus T to make it pop up. You can also for anything. Open a new tab, pin a tab, search your history, add an extension, find a setting, and pretty much anything else. I'm not even getting paid to say this, I just really like this thing. And I just suggest that you try, you know, like there's so many little things about Arc that make it, in my opinion, one of the best browsers out there, but they would be super, super boring to talk about. But these small things are what makes it really, really nice to use. So clearly, I like Arc. I was super excited when I saw that they announced a bunch of new AI features, especially because I was using Sigma OS before I moved to Arc. Sigma OS is this other amazing browser company trying to reinvent the internet, right? And they had released a bunch of AI features that I really, really loved, and I was really missing them when I moved to Arc. I actually made a comparison video between Arc and SigmaOS, which you can watch right here. They're calling these five new AI features Arc Max. It starts with Ask on Page. This is very similar to what I already had on Sigma OS, and I'm already loving it. It's probably my favorite out of the five. Basically, you can now use Command plus F, not just to search for a specific word, but to ask your AI assistant for anything about it to summarize it, or pretty much anything else with the context of what you're doing. Five second previews. These are really nice. You can pretty much get a summary of any web page without having to open it. It sounded super boring to me at first, but it's actually really useful and quite amazing. It's not just pulling up the first 30 words of the article or something, for example. It's actually reading and summarizing everything they're going to find on this page. We've then got Ask ChatGPT, and this one is a little nice to have, but nothing crazy in my opinion. You can tap ChatGPT and your question in the command bar, and it will open the ChatGPT website, which are question already tapped up. Saves you a click or two, I guess. The last two are tidy tab titles and tidy downloads. That was hard to say. They're very similar and absolutely great. They basically rename all your tabs and downloaded files to something more obvious so you can find it again more easily later. It works really well. It's great, super useful. If you're interested in Arc, you should definitely watch this video right here where I compared it to Sigma OS so that you can see how it stacks up against some of its competitors. Thanks a lot for watching and please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. It helps me a lot and it also makes sure that you don't miss any future videos. Thanks again and see you soon.